Now that the elections are over, thank God, what America needs more urgently than anything else, more than a different president, a better Congress, an honest media, and even more than a beautiful, terrific wall, it urgently needs anger management, or at least therapy of some sort. There is so much anger in America. I can understand why so many women are angry. I understand why minorities are angry. I can understand the left being angry. They lost. Everything they hold dear is threatened. Minority rights, gay rights, women's rights, protection of the environment, social security, healthcare, Obamacare, financial regulations. They're losing a world based on reason and rationality. But why are the Republicans still angry? They swept the field, yet they still sound furious, snarling about the media and journalists, sneering at protesters, yapping about Mexicans, barking about Muslims. They're yelling to make America whiter, as if that's what's going to make America great again. You get the picture? America is mad as hell and can't take it anymore, which is hilarious to be honest with you, America. I don't mean to be insensitive or dismissive, but you remain the richest, most prosperous, most advanced country in the world, and you're still democratic and liberal the last time I checked. Really, before you snarl, sneer, and scream some more about how it's all gone to hell, you should spend a week in a tent in a Syrian refugee camp. What is not funny, indeed truly frightening, is all this growling, howling anger from Trump's associates and appointees. It sounds like the White House is being filled by a pack of angry, nipping, snapping white men with control over trillions of dollars, with keys to international stability, and with nuclear weapons, dangerous to Americans and others. It's time to send in the therapists, folks, before America's anger angers the rest of the world.